Come get your first look at October's brand new White Dwarf coming in hot with a new comic. Spiky Bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? I'm Rob Bear, and this is your first look review of the brand new White Tour for October 2016. So the special swag in this issue is kind of like a um like a prologue kind of comic uh, from the folks over at Titan Comics. This is the new 40k Will of Iron series, and it's kind of like a uh, kind of half comic, half how they made the comic kind of type deal. Like in you, you kind of interested. It's like an issue number zero if you're familiar with you know comic comic runs. There just kind of intro and kind of show you a few things and then it may this may actually relate into the comic series or it might just pick up at the the future point there or something like that or you know a lot of times he's just explain what's going on so we'll take a closer look at that here shortly but let's concentrate on the new white dwarf now, like this thing Again, another amazing issue. They're coming in fresh. They added Masterclass series where they're basically showing you how to paint flesh um, in a, a, just incredible detail. There's a battle report in here. There's all sorts of stuff. I mean, you've got uh, Blanjisu coming back. I mean, this thing is pretty fresh. Now, of course, it's the ginormous size. You know, it's 150 pages, basically, that, you know, we haven't seen something like this in a long time. There's some surprises in here, like they showed off basically the new Aleman Russ um, Primark uh, kind of book series here. Of course, we have a new editor. I guess this guy, uh, Matt, Matt Keefe is uh, taking taking the reins just as uh, after four years is doing some other stuff in the studio there. So congrats to him. A very good, a very good run, I feel like. Um, amazing. It's been just a really exciting time for White Dwarf, you know. Uh, I Being a web publisher, I guess, you know, I, I know all about getting material out in, in, a, in a quick fashion and turn around a magazine every week for uh, almost, uh, what, two and a half years. Uh, that's that's an incredible accomplishment. You gotta you gotta admit there. So here's the overall contents. You can basically see a lot of stuff. They're talking about the comic, some armies on parade overview. Of course, you've got Gene Steeler cults. Now there is a all sorts of content in here, which they show you the return of paint splatter, sprues and glue. There's a battle report on them. Um, all sorts of background material stuff that we're just not even going to cover here. They've got Age of Sigmar in here too, and in Parade Ground as well. So all the cover features. Basically, this is how you like. Oh, okay, that's stuff in the front flip right there or heavy metal masterclass let me jump you know let me jump to that and see how to do um, flush tones very cool stuff like I said Blanche Jitsu's back amazing times amazing 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 good stuff here so let's flip to a few of the sections in here of course now there is an interview with Jess um, you know Jess Goodwin uh, not Jess Beckham the former editor of the magazine here uh, which I think is pretty exciting I mean he Really, I mean, they have a freaking pol uh, version or a pattern of the bolt gun named after him. He basically defined what a Space Marine looks like, what a Space Marine is for the most part. And of course, his, his sketches are amazing. You know, the basis for so many models out there, even if he didn't sculpt them. So, you know, just really good, really good stuff. Like, you know, right here, the combo with John Blanche, even, you know, to really kind of show a lot of the stuff. I mean, his stuff, he's it's phenomenal phenomenal guy very very talented you know so the stuff we take for granted these days basically his visions in a lot of uh, a lot of areas there and there is some ads in here it's not it's not too awful bad but you know you got a couple of overleaf ads in here here is the armies on parade feature which some featuring some fantastic stuff for not just um, age of sigmar but also 40k you know I love these trees these trees are really amazing looking and this one's pretty fantastic using the different types of terrain, slapping it on a board, creating this area right here for all your models in this fresh, you know, um, what is this white and kind of like off white cream and a, and an orange, very cool looking stuff. There is all of them, the start collecting boxes, which looks to be, what is it, 21 of them? No, there's 22 of them. No, 24 of them. That's interesting. I think I missed a few when I did my review. Oh, some of the Age of Sigma ones. Hmm. I'll have to go back and uh, add that, update that article. Well, 
Anyways, so here's the Ultimate Guide to Gene Stealer Colts, but I wanted to show you the battle report, which I thought was pretty cool, how they laid it all out, and where is it? Here it is. Okay, so here's the battle report. Let's get into, here it is right here. Okay, so this kind of gives you the overview. You know, of course, you've got the uh, the, the toy porn uh, centerfold right here, basically setting up the whole thing, and you got your amazing overlook. Now, they use this for a lot of the pictures in the codex, of course. So, talking about the board right here, which is, again, a phenomenal board. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to play on something like this? That's just amazing. And then, you know, they give you all the numbers. They basically explain it all. Then they show you all the movements and everything. I mean, this is what uh, a non-video battle report should be, in my opinion. You know, if you're going to write, take the time to write all this stuff out and do all these pictures, I mean, this is what the old style White Dwarf battle reports were back in the day for all of us, you know, before the internet. This is what we had, you know, and just seeing this again really gets all those creative juices going. It's amazing, amazing looking stuff. And then they get into some illustrations, but I wanted to show you uh, some of the stuff in here, like, oh, the new heavy metal. Well, we'll go to the hobby section because, you know, we're all about the hobby here at Spiky Bits. So let's check that out. So here's the sprues and glue, basically how to use the Tyranny Conversion Sprue. Very cool looking stuff in here, so you can basically add a lot of stuff to your existing guardsmen if you wanted to, because there's a lot of extra heads in that one hybrid kit. And there's the Goliath truck. Uh, kit bash, so to speak, with a lot of different um, guard components and things, which, you know, goes, goes without saying, I feel like, and the paint splatter, how to do extreme edge highlighting. Now, we talk about this a lot on the long work, Kenny and myself, of course, on our respective channels, basically how to do edge highlighting. And what's cool to see, you know, that they're basically doing that, because highlighting black is tough, don't get me wrong. Um, and if you do it wrong, it just looks like a hot dirty puddle of mess but there is ways to do it right and they definitely show you there um there's some red stuff right here which i didn't really look at it doesn't look too exciting to be quite honest three ways to paint black well again black is almost the toughest color to paint as white red and yellow which they include two of those three right or right there that i just talked about so great looking uh article in here on how to do the stuff that well, is one of the toughest ones out there. And of course, Blood Angels just came out, so it's kind of fortuitous that it's in here, right? And here's some excerpts from the How to Paint Tyranids guide right here on just basic layering, basic detailing, some flesh. There's also a dark flesh article in that book as well that you might want to check out. Now, here's the Heavy Metal Masterclass. This is the what a lot of people are looking forward to in here, and it doesn't disappoint. I mean, there is, <laughs> look at that face. Look at that face. Like, it's amazing right there. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of steps to get to that, but when you want to paint that one figure to that level, this is the guide for you right here, and we hadn't seen a lot of that in a long time. And of course, another Blanchitsu article. There was one last, last month. I didn't show it to you because, well, it's one of those things you just have to experience for yourselves. And well, this one here, you can check it out. Um, it's very cool looking stuff here and then it gets into more showcases and more things in the back of the book They talk about horse heresy coming out next month, which hey, how about that? It's almost like we know burning for prospera is coming out And I also found it kind of interesting that games workshops have been watching for all the leaks and things like that Over the past few weeks and they would always retort with a little video or a little like article Hey, you might have seen this on the on the 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 internet well here check this out here's another thing to look at well they didn't really do that with the burning of prospero which leads me to believe that got out and they weren't planning on that one so sometimes underground marketing and guerrilla marketing goes bad and uh well I, I, we're not going to comment on that one right uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool to see that, you know, still some stuff escapes, you know, it's kind of like that scene in Star Wars where Princess Leia is like, the, the tighter you grip your fist, the more grains of sand are, you know, I'm paraphrasing, of course, because I don't remember the exact quote, but, you know, more systems are going to slip through your fingers, Grandma, and that's basically kind of how it goes. Like, even Apple has these problems with, you know, people leaving their phones in bars, and <laughs> so it's always good stuff to see and really plan um, you know, on stuff coming out soon because, you know, knowing that there's going to be a new Horus Heresy box coming out, I don't think it's going to affect anybody's budget because we're all still going to buy the stuff that we're interested in, but just knowing that it's on the horizon really escalates the whole, um, I guess, uh, excitement level out there, so to speak. So here's a couple of uh, pages from the new Will of Iron. They basically explain what's going on. Uh, this Inquisitor, 
is basically interviewing a demon host and she's like tell me what you see and he's going into this whole battle that's happening on this planet for a relic the dark angels are kind of looking for something we don't exactly know what but basically the whole dark angels battle plan is this chaplain going through just basically like straight smiting people and like quoting scripture out of you know one of the dark angel lion books of some sort that i'm not familiar with but it, it's just funny he's like you know they're the brothers are all like you know the marines are all like all tactical and the chaplain's just going through like you know just like out of straight pulp fiction just spouting off stuff and it's just a really cool comic to read and then you know uh then he's talking more stuff in here more riddles and there he is that's the big the big scene spoiler right there but to be honest it's only a couple pages it's not like you weren't gonna see it and then it gets into like how they uh basically draw everything all the different alternate covers that are coming out in october um and all sorts of cool stuff you know it's comics take time just like anything else it's just like drawing you know painting a miniature drawing a comic inking the comic even if it's digital versus analog um it's the stuff still in art it still takes time to do and it's still amazing to see our kind of universe and our hobby you know on the comic strip so to speak on the on the parchment paper or whatever they, they call it these days i don't even know anymore i have probably haven't read an actual comic book in uh uh, far too long, far too long. But very cool to see. I'll definitely be picking this up from my local comic place uh, when it comes out next month as well because this looks very exciting. I can't wait uh, to see. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching our first look review of the brand new White Dwarf and the freebie comic number zero prologue of the new Will of Iron from Titan Comics that will be coming in fresh with episode or issue one here in October. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.